no swearing unless you bleep yourself. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Hilariously, my heart rate is always at its highest right now. <laughs> For the rest of the paddle, it'll be lower than it is right now. <laughs> it makes no sense. <laughs> That's a great place to uh, launch from there, Pat. <laughs> great place to launch from. <laughs> and you got, uh, you got a little bit of space. A <laughs> little bit of space through the gap. <laughs> that might happen a bit. Dave Coupling up there, and he did the day one 2020 race and getting a medal on oh, Amon Descent Saturday presentation. <laughs> I just showed him, showed him the one medal sample today. He liked it. Here behind us is Dave's paddling partner, Patrick. Patrick Allen. And Pat did most of 2020 as well, sort of seconding Dave, paddling down the river where he could, but he didn't start day two, in fact I don't think he did any of day two, just did part of day one, most of day one. Whereas Dave, as he just explained to me, got in at Amiens Road and did that part of day two. As well, not the metal, just from below Bells, below Upper Swan Bridge, Amiens Road, Amiens Crescent, all the way to the finish with me. And he helped out a lot, I paddled him behind him and got a good tow. Because of that tow and the motivation, I was able to stay ahead of those two faster boats and win the line on us. 2020 and on the set. Come on. Here he Meters, I think, we think. After weather all part, all the way to Fossils Ford, Tea Trees Run number four. <laughs> That's a dead tree. No, not that dead tree. About one hour and 40 minutes. And 44, I reckon. 
get to the uh, dead tree decision. Oh, big red kangaroo. Look at him go. Hee <laughs> hee. Hey there, Hopper. Hey, buddy. Question: What does kangaroo mean? <laughs> and it turns out kangaroo is the anglicised version of the word that the eastern states Aboriginal people used to call the animal. Which <laughs> makes you realise that didn't speak to each other and they had different words for everything. And they were not one language or one people at all. <laughs> but that's pretty common with indigenous peoples of the world. Hey! Pat has caught up! Oh, we can Dave wanted some extra tea trees practice, I think. <laughs> Just getting a bit of early practice in, are you? <laughs> oh, jeez. Big red guy, yeah. Good. Oh, mate, a couple of centimetres lower and those pools wouldn't be fun. <laughs> It's definitely higher than it was maybe 10 days ago, yeah. I just hoped that rain would have done more, but it doesn't look like it has. Bunbury got a huge amount though. <laughs> doesn't help us. <laughs> So glad these pools aren't stagnant and just zero kph. I remember those. 
I think, I, I don't know, I think I've never seen those channels around Katrine so low. Do you remember in 2010 the power boaters had dug that channel on the right hand side where the, uh, the, the tyre is? And they say you got to turn right at the tyre, otherwise they'll go into shallow pools for the next 5Ks. And uh, that channel was only like a 5 to 10 centimetres deep. And I've never seen it. That side right channel that isn't like other side of the, the, um, the island there. Almost just below, uh, just below Northern sort of thing. Well... <laughs> You mean rock stopper? <laughs> yeah. Heart stoppers. Heart stoppers got the water coming around the island from both sides and hitting in the middle. Yeah. 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 And oh, there's the easy way down there. <laughs> I think there's a, plenty of space down here, but you do get sucked under stuff down here. Our first little taste of it. <laughs> Yeehaw! So this will this will get all the newbies. <laughs> oh yeah, that's uh, pretty easy. <laughs> I'm so glad that the tea trees are sort of back now. There's a bit of complexity to them again. <laughs> you can get through there and there. In a double, you're probably going to go through there, I guess. All right. I've only trained a little bit more than I did last year, so <laughs> I'm uh, definitely what you'd call not not well done. <laughs>
Do you remember what the gauge said or what they predicted the gauge said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, yeah, yeah, exactly. I did a 0.45 as well, same similar level to, to your first. Still, it's higher than it used to be at 0.45 or 5. You know, you could never get through everywhere at 0.5 in the past, but now it's it's fully open, but filled with debris. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get you, bird. You have to be a special kind of stupid to sit on a tree up there and think that we're going to harm them down here. <laughs> Those birds keep flying off thinking we're, uh, we're a threat to them. <laughs> yeah, that's right, we're gonna get you guys. <laughs> What you guys were just talking about reminded me of the, the Formula One in Monaco about five years ago. The one guy uh, had COVID, I think, and he couldn't couldn't race. And uh, Jensen Button took his took his seat, took Fernando Alonso's seat in his car. And Fernando called him up just as he was driving out onto the grid and took a live phone call in the cockpit on the, on on TV. And he said, "Hey Jensen, take good care of my car and don't crash it." And Jensen said. I'm gonna pee in your seat. <laughs> and he just, ah, no, don't do it. <laughs> and then Jensen probably crashed into someone and flipped the guy over and, and had a big accident in the race. <laughs> Didn't finish, but you know, it was it was good fun. <laughs> I think half the half the guys do. I think like they say, well, there's no other way for it. Uh, I would imagine so, but. I think it's just like a giant nappy thing, basically, like a giant, a giant depend. Uh, but yeah, no, I asked, um, I asked a trucker recently. He was one of these crude truckers. He always talked about how he goes to the toilet uh, in his truck while he's trucking. And, and I said, well, surely you guys have thought of a thing that you can, you know, at least pee in the thing while you're driving. And and he says, oh yeah, no, we got all those things, but then never explained it to me. So <laughs> I don't, I still don't know what they do, but the, they do something. <laughs> I don't, don't think it's necessary to find out. <laughs> yeah. But uh, 
but I do think it's necessary to mention is this is the orchard and we are at the start of the tea trees now 2.75 k's from Wetherill so feel free not to follow me um, I'm attempting to do 100% correct channels today so yeah Okay, I'll apologize, I'll apologize now, <laughs> I do enjoy, I'm basically going to take the right channel every opportunity if it looks good. Ex yeah, no, I'll, I'll stop, yeah, I'll, I'll, wait, I'll wait for you guys. <laughs> Tea trees themselves. See, we used to go down there, but no, no, not today. <laughs> you have to take your time here, though. So far, so good. <laughs> I remember you. That's a good log there. <laughs> All right. Easy parts over. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him just before. We got a big pool here, we'll wait here. See, the other channels might be open, but that one works, so... Yeah. <laughs> 
Plus it fits with the uh, always go right rule. <laughs> Only one place on, on the tea trees that you mustn't go right, <laughs> I think. see lots of things that have broken off though Dave. It doesn't look like anything's been snapped off recently but you are right these channels are open. <laughs> I don't know I think it's a driftwood though mate. I think there's a, well, a whole lot of flood, flood, uh, flood, uh, flots and might have washed out or been pushed out yeah. But it's those day two trees that are still real. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> little difficult section. <laughs> I'll just apologize in advance for going the wrong way but you know. <laughs> oh that's okay. Pretty much straight ahead it's just a bit of zigzagging. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> One's floating, you can bash into it. There's a log in the middle, you can hit it, it's fine. Dunk, that one, yeah. <laughs> I hope I can still go backwards once I have the jet drive in my boat. <laughs> I'll have to make it like uh, have some thing in it which prevents water going back up it. That'll, that'll work, yeah. Like Pat, he's going backwards too. He's just testing out whether he can go backwards for some reason. I'm, su I'm sure it's fine. He's just testing. <laughs> I'll go this side, I'll go this side. Oh yeah, I got... <laughs> I was waiting for a good spot to spin around the nose. Makes a great video. Well, I'm sure me turning over also makes a great video, but I, I, I'd rather not do one of those ones. Wow, I came down Possils and forgot how to shoot rapids the other day. Put my paddle in a hole and almost turned over at Possils. <laughs> Hilarious. Alright. Come on, Pat. Here he comes. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good. I've been there, yeah, it's good. 
Bony, but fine. Yeah, that was the one I thought not, not even going to bother me in middle here. I'm just gonna hang back for Pat. I saw, I saw. <laughs> great spot to get stuck. <laughs> I saw you going upstream there. <laughs> mm. That's all too easy to do, isn't it? <laughs> That's a good spot to do it because at least you can get out on the on the grassy bank on the side. You had another tree on the other side, then you'd be stuffed. Never realised there's stairs coming down to the river there. <laughs> this guy's built some limestone stairs from his shed, I think. Take a look next time we're here. It might be a spot we can uh, get out and have a picnic. <laughs> Dave went the right side here, so I'm going to do it too. It was okay when I tried a few days ago. Cut the corner. <laughs> I'm around the outside. Don't cut it, don't cut it. The rock's there. Rock, 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 rock. Oh no.
right there. No worries. All good. All good. That was my fault, Pat. Sorry. I should have. I should have yelled that out. <laughs> you got out of that one good, though. <laughs> I was expecting you to have to hop out. <laughs> Pat's just practicing all the different things he needs to learn and the tea, needs to do in the tea trees, like getting out on a log and getting caught on a gravel bank and getting getting shot around and turning upstream while in the flow of the water. You're just, you're just ticking off all these things that you need to attempt and and master. Yeah, 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 we followed you down. But you know when you cut the corner and there are rocks on the inside? I hit the rocks. Pat hit the rocks side, side on, side, sideways. But it, so the water is not powerful enough to hurt you and heading straight for trees where the water is rushing underneath might be a good thing today. That's right, is it? Bash the tree, exactly. Hit the tree and miss the rock. You'd rather hit a tree and go under it than hit the rock and stop. <laughs> and the water is not powerful enough to, to, to worry about getting stuck under a tree today. Well, well, that's the thing. The tree is not in the way. If you just bash the tree a little bit with your side, it's not in the way. And often, most of these trees are way easier to, than you think. You can go straight through them and just push them out the way. And they're not even in the way. But there are a few... There are a few trees down here which are thick enough and they are in the way. And I've got some good clips of the videos from last week and the week before showing me absent-minded, coming around a corner, a million miles an hour, straight into the tree. Ah, oh, boom! Ah, oh, grabbed it, grabbed it. Well, yeah. And you can hit. You got to hit them with your body because otherwise, you know, you could get pushed. But if you were just slow, if you just slow down and turn the boat earlier, you would miss it completely. <laughs> so there's no no science to it. It's just being silly and not 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 paying attention. Uh, I think this is a big long pull now, isn't it? <laughs> got to pick a side and stick to it because the sandbars are in the middle. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That paddles the 415 on, on windy days. It's not worth the wizard, yeah. Okay. A K1 though, right? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. And a half. Uh, still too, uh, still short plastic, okay. Short phone, I mean, yeah. Hey, come on, yeah, okay. Does it have a big cockpit, nice cockpit? Like, easy enough to get in there? Yep, yep. Yeah, <laughs> it's not, not not the nicest, yeah. Well, it, is the sea kayak also pretty slow, is it? Sea kayak's also pretty slow, is it? So I was hoping to get a... Yeah, okay. Is it possible to get a boat for all seasons though? To get a sea kayak that can do river fast enough? Hey! <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. That's the thing, I guess. It'd be fun, but I guess if you're not competitive, it's like me and the wave hopper, I can do the Nanga challenge, it's great fun, but I'm always last. <laughs> And, and that no matter how hard I paddle or how fit I am, there's no, there's no chance, you know. Oh, well, but, but that's compared to the guys in their K1s and all the rest, you know. So, here we are presented with the, uh, the, uh, the questions. Here we are presented with the channels. This is one of the few times there isn't a right-hand channel to choose. So, you know, I remember coming here thinking, well, you're welcome to go to the right, but guess what? I'm going to the left because <laughs> in this case it's obvious that this is the way. That's why when in doubt, go to the right. But I'm not in doubt right here. <laughs> and it curves around to the right hand side anyway. <laughs> All right. Yeah. our first nice low hanging branch. <laughs> yeah, we do want to get back onto the right channel as soon as we can. <laughs> and I think we go right through here. <coughs> yeah. This is it. Nice. Watch that branch there. Take your time.
You want to go here? I got you. I got you. Oops, sorry. Uh, sorry. I'll get the nose. I'll get the nose around for you. There's a nice bank on the side there. Oh, careful, careful. Boat's gonna get stuck. Boat's you're good, you're good. I'm gonna push the nose around and get it into the eddy there on the right side. Yep. There. Boat's good, let go of the boat if you want. Well, I can grab the boat now if you want to just... I got boat, I got boat. Okay, I'll get the boat. Yeah, yeah. Can you get out behind the boat or does it come over further? There you go. Okay, don't let go of the boat now. Yeah, boat's going, boat's going downstream. Let's let it, uh, uh oh, oh, get, watch the water, watch the uh, sinkage. <laughs> oh yeah, rudder's okay. <laughs> cool, okay. Is that a good enough bank? Do you want me to hop out? Or... Oh, you made it, Pat. <laughs> oh. oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Did you came down the, the ch same channel? Yeah, yeah, and then you just head left because there was a there was the overhanging. <laughs> that was that's the first I actually said as I got up to it. Here's the first big overhanging sick challenge of the day because there's a that's one of the few the big ones the ones that the water's going where it where you can't go you know wrong place and they were just a little bit too strong to headbutt or to smash. Oh, it's fine. I slowed down. And and Dave showed me that. Sorry, missed it. Missed it. Right there. And um, Dave showed me the the because I I don't know if I was taught wrong, but they, I was always taught uh, speed means you can turn. So always get speed and uh, attack the rapids. And I mean yeah, cool rapids. But then a washing machine. If you attack washing machine when it's low you end up getting airborne and then Dave says well no just come in at zero kph backpedal your way through it and then it'll spit you out in the right place you have to trust the water pressure to push you here push you here push you here and it does it <laughs> oh no no hard right yeah yeah but at, in low water in point three when the rocks come out of the water and now you have to do that zigzag I always thought, oh, well, you've got to race through the zigzag, right? Oh, yeah. And you come out in the overhanging one at the bottom and... Rah, nope. But if you're slow... Huh, slow. Well, in the... Where, where the rocks are like this. And you go through the rocks and then right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think if you're going slowly, you can go right. But if you're going fast, oh, it's, it spits you left. Too bad. You know, sort of thing. Yeah. And when it's above 0.6, you go hard right over the rock and take the jump on the right side. And the, the one year that the guys were saying, yeah, it's high enough to do that. I came down the hard right over the rock and it wasn't high enough to do it. And I got airborne over the bloody rock and yeehaw! That was when I thought, no, no, zigzag is the way. Uh, yeah, yeah, great fun. You go, you go, Dave. This is my right side channel, and uh, it better be the right one. <laughs> uh, it's a goer. It's a bit. It's a bit. Uh, it's a bit narrow, but it's a goer. Yep. Yep. Slow down a bit, Dave. I'll let that water push you. Yeah. Dunk. <laughs> It's a rib tickler. <laughs> oh no. 
Okay, yeah, you got it. The old root shoot. <laughs> this is the root shoot, I believe, I believe. I believe I can fly. I believe I'm going back. Uh, All right. Yeehaw. So far, every ch every choice. Yeah. Ah, no. Well, lots of little twigs. Yeah, yeah. And the water was going right where you didn't want it to go, pushing you right under that tree. Yeah. But so far, every choice, every choice we had to make, if you took the right-hand channel, correct decision. So. Exactly, so you, you couldn't take it. So basically every choice that you can make, you know, every, every, uh, every time you're in doubt, take that channel. And you'll almost 100% of the time besides the end here at the dead trees. <laughs> I keep trying to prove my, uh, I keep trying to prove it. And I think it's, I think it's right. <laughs> I hope it's right. <laughs> I think we're getting more water though. <laughs> time to do my little specky move but you want to you want to go down the channel here on the right on the left sorry It's, it's, it's better there, but I suppose you can go there. But that right hand channel doesn't look as good up there, so I took the left. Now, under the log here. <laughs> this now.
<laughs> Not right hand channel. <laughs> And so far it's 100% of the time go right unless you really can't go right <laughs> so far so there are only a few places where you mustn't go right when you can go right <laughs> You guys go here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's right. See, when in doubt, both channels look about the same as each other. No, no channel better than the other, so we take the right one. You can go left. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not a not enough water. Not enough water down there. Yeah, here's it. This is it. It drags you back to the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you miss out that bit. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
You're supposed to jag left at the end there, though you guys went through some scrappy stuff. You can avoid it if you just went that way at the end. Yeah, turning isn't the easiest. Okay, we got our first little gravel shoot here. This might be the one with the big log coming out. Be careful and take it slowly. I know we're okay. Not here, not here. I thought that was our little gravel shoot, but it wasn't. <laughs> still coming, still coming. <laughs> take your time, 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 take your time.
One. But he's 21 years old again, is he? 70, wow, nice one. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, nice one. <laughs> across the river anymore. <laughs> Jeez, yesterday I saw a, aha, a jimpeting. <laughs> Jeez, that was sooner than I expected. Okay. <laughs> I saw a kookaburra fly into the water yesterday, uh, last, on Sunday, and eat a bug in the water, dive bomb it. three things together also like uh, jimper ding or in, maybe jimper and ding or something like this but yeah they didn't have words for things it was just a exactly it was a sound association you know the uh, one guy was telling me recently this um, anthropologist guy is saying the word rock we we call it a rock because Stone Age people looked at it and went what noise does it make rock duck duck <laughs> and then the rock uh, you look in all the ancient, all the uh, prehistoric languages, the word for rock is all is all similar to the sound that it makes. <laughs> and the same with animal, animals and, and bird, like birds, kalu, 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 sort of thing. <laughs> That's right, yeah, exactly, yeah. I was just explaining actually uh, on the video before that uh, uh, the Aboriginal word for kangaroo is malu. And you think, hang on, isn't the ang Aboriginal word for kangaroo, kangaroo? <laughs> and that's exactly, and not only was it the word that the Eastern States guys, yeah. now I go right side here, eh? You don't? Yeah, okay. I'll meet you at the flip side. Do you reckon it's not through there? I'll, I'd like to see, I'd like to see which one's faster because I know here is the through path, but it might be too slow. We'll find out. <laughs> Okay, right side, what do you reckon? <laughs> we'll find out. Thick one, yes. Yeah. Here we are. At the, at the hard stick thing. <laughs> clear? That way it's good? Okay. That really hard stick shoot thing was on my side right there. <laughs> okay. 
Don't need to go right there then. <laughs> So your channel on the left there was pretty good, was it? Okay. It's rocky. Would it would it be open in about a point one below this? Be open at point five? Okay. So on the right there, that's that gravel chute that I was talking about with the big log that comes at you and you've got to really try and miss it. So I'd like to not go on my side there. <laughs> so if your way is good there, then I'll I'll chalk that one in. That's the way. Yep. I think it's definitely a faster way. Exactly, and I, I kind of did, or I went as fast as I could, and I didn't get stuck, and I still, uh, yeah, I hit that before. <laughs> I saw that the other time coming through here, <laughs> just in time. <laughs> I can go there, go there, go there. <laughs> Not quite enough water for this side. I think through there is, is good, but uh, it's all fine. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a good, it's a good plan. <laughs> well, that's what I tried to do. It's no good, is it? At, that, at that, that decision down at the dead trees in the bottom there, two k's from the finish, I backed up the first time trying to find another channel and it ended up going where I originally thought. Because <laughs> you end up thinking, well, nope, the first decision was the best one. <laughs> Let's go back to that. <laughs> May as well have just gone there in the first place. <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's a second left channel, isn't it? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Here we are at the little gravel chute with the bush. <laughs> Again, I go river right after here. You reckon? <laughs> uh, you guys go left. Well, we'll see you again. <laughs>
too there's nothing that bad in it it's a little bit shallow but not too bad First useless gauge. <laughs> They've put a gauge at Cobblers now, also useless, <laughs> out of the water. <laughs>
Pick your poison! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going right too. <laughs> ah. Damn it, I wanted to find out where that one went. Well, that bit, no. This bit, I think, yeah. <laughs> Below cobblers, I think, still bad. <laughs> yeah, but this so far has been, been okay. If I took your channel up above there, it would have been perfect. <laughs> Aha! Rammed Earth House, three Ks to cobblers. We good. <laughs> I just wanted to do another backwards. <laughs> left okay
gonna take a lot to not go right for me. <laughs> Okay. Thinking if it's obvious, then I'll go left, but if it's not obvious and there's water going right, then oh, I don't know. I like bashing down the wrong channel if it's on the right side of the river. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, okay. Do you mean the log that comes over the river and you can get around it on the right side? You reckon go left here? Really? Here? Mate, I don't know. I've gone through here a bunch of times. You can go left. Yeah, go left. Tell me if it's if it's faster, but I've gone here the last four times and it, it's fine through here. You can make it under there, no worries. Take your time and you'll be fine. That's easy. It's enough water. Take your time though. Grab it and take your time. I mean, you can make it. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Take your time. Watch out for that bush. That's the gauge that used to be there. The old tea trees gauge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It looks it looks like you wouldn't, hey. I got under there when it was higher water, so I knew it was possible. <laughs> and when it's low enough, it's low enough to get under, or it's high enough to hop over the middle part. So no matter what, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It is it is sinking, I think. It's getting lower, isn't it? <laughs> no, well, they'll have to cut left. They'll take Dave's channel, yeah. But was there anything else, like, in that channel below the left, if you took left? All clear, okay, yeah. Just a, just a tight turn. But... Well, I reckon one boat stuck on the right there will mean that the left-hand channel is the, is the goer. Because, like, like you got stuck in just a few seconds there going backwards, forwards. You can imagine three... I think left is probably the easiest. It, it did look pretty passable, yeah. You know, it looked pretty bad, and then as I came past, the left-hand side of it, like the upstream part of the channel was open pretty good. Yeah. Now it's just the pool above the pool above Leatherheads. one power line that goes over the river. <laughs> well there was a channel a little bit further up Pat that we used to call the root chute because it was a long hundred meter section of like long high walls on either side with roots coming out into the channel 
and you just have to hope that the water was going to pr push you in the right direction. That's that's kind of gone now. It's still there, but it's open and flat. So, <laughs> but uh, uh, thank God that there's still there's still some tight channels down here still. So. I mean, it is mostly driftwood that's made them tight though. It's not living, growing trees. It's just trees that have got caught in them, so... That's right, and, and the bushfire before them, so the dead trees all get washed down. But that means that somebody can just come through and push a couple of times and it'll, it'll, break, it'll break it open, so... In fact, I did that in one place here. I pulled out a whole pile of driftwood, <laughs> made it a bit easier. Okay. But I, th I think that left hand channel is too shallow after cobblers, isn't it? Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, to, ex to enter it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so just, just directly above all those logs that, that come over the right side then. Yep. Ah, uh, okay, okay, yep, yep. I think I know the one. We'll have to see whether that's any better than when I went there, because I think I tried... Yep, okay. Because I thought I went there on Sunday and it was still graveling out the whole way down, not enough water for the boat, so... I hope I'm talking about a different channel and you guys have a better one. <laughs> well, I like to, I want to see if it's faster than going under the logs on the right. Because that channel on the right, I think, is the fastest, but it gets blocked easily and you've got to duck all those logs and everyone goes there, so it'll get, it'll get stuck with boats, so... No, it's, well, rem remember in years gone past, it was completely unpassable and everyone went there and then oh that's right whoops yeah the, over the island i got the one year that i thought i'd be smart and go to the left of the island because everybody was portaging over it and then i realized that there was no water there <laughs> could either choose wherever i walk down the the water or uh, scrape down the gravel <laughs> no good no good way I might do, I think I have to be somewhere this afternoon and, uh, at, 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 at like 2ish, so I'll just have to see what sort of timing we got. Yeah, no, I'll definitely try and get it on the selfie though, that'll be great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I remember years ago I used to think that 70 year olds, wow, they're so old and there's you know, nothing they can do anymore. And now I'm surrounded, my dad's 74 this year, and he hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> he gets pissed off when he can't do anything, but he doesn't not do anything. <laughs> ah. It's got a, it's got a, got a bee on me. Yeah, it's not, not a thing you want to encounter on the river if you're anaphylactic, is it? There's a really great movie that uh, it's it's one of the ones that you'll put on for the kids and then you'll get involved then you'll get interested and watch the whole thing as well. It's a uh, it's animated, but it's so good animation that you would think it's like real life uh, nature photography because it zooms in on some bees and they go flying around, buzz 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 making noise, and they sit on a whole pile of things and then it, and then it focuses on some ants and the whole movie is about the story of the ants. And the ants find some sugar cubes that the, the family leave at a picnic and they they find the sugar. Oh, now what do we do with the sugar? Oh, we transport it back to the nest. Oh, and you know, nest scene goes transporting sugar for a while. 
and then the fire ants get wind of this and they start attacking the worker ants. And so there's a huge battle scene with fire ants, you know, raw, no, 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 no. And uh, it ends up that the big, the big uh, ant heap gets destroyed by the fire ants and the other ants, uh, you know, live on somewhere else and it's like a huge battle, epic uh, battle royale type thing from the, from the point of view of the ants. <laughs> and uh, I didn't realise it was animated until a little bit of the way through. I thought it was real bees and real ants. It was so, so well done. And I thought they were recording the noises they made. And then I realised, hang on, bees don't go buzz 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 oh buzz 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 <laughs> that's exactly like talking to each other they probably don't do that <laughs> but it starts off starts off with a pregnant couple uh going to picnicking in in the uh in the countryside of france somewhere and then she's pregnant and she feels the baby coming and they have to rush off and they leave all the food there and the sugar cubes in the in the tin and then the ants come on board. <laughs> it's got no dialogue the whole movie. <laughs> Every time I see little animals doing their thing, I think, ah, make a movie about that. <laughs> All right, next decision time, hey? I mean, these are the dead trees that I think we're getting close to the dead tree decision which is when I'm going to cut left as soon as humanly possible. But um, that's the only time on the whole tea trees that you cut left. That's right. That's, that's what I mean. That's why it's a big decision. <laughs> it's 2Ks. Uh, wait, it's, it's below cobblers. It's below cobblers. Oh, yeah. It's way, way coming. Way low. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Nah, <laughs> I saw those last time as well. <laughs> Here's the uh, next decision point. <laughs> Yes, yes. 
ever been left there? <laughs> This is the side that gets really shallow when it's low here. There we are. <laughs> There's nothing difficult about leatherheads then. <laughs> There it comes. And he is hitting the rock. He's bad. <laughs> How's it going? Woof! Hey boy! Woof! 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 Now a bit of currents on this side so you'll get a bit of extra speed if you go this side I reckon judging by the foam in the pool. <laughs> yeah, it's not enough to catch him. Well, he reckons that you go down this pool on the left side, but I mean, we haven't gone the left side of the end of this pool for a decade or something, right? <laughs> and only then, usually, because it's a mistake. <laughs> well, if you can get into that left-hand channel, uh, left-hand side of the island, then great, but I know for a fact the middle part of it has no water, so you have to be further left than there. Well, I did that years, years, years and years ago. 
ago I'd come down here and then go jag left, but nowadays that's that's what Dave's saying now, and I'm saying mate, maybe ten years ago, but not anymore. <laughs> well, if it put, if it shoots you into the same channel that I end up in in the middle, there's not enough water, so the uh, only way it could be good is if it's further left in a different channel, but. I think it's, it, well there's a channel there, it just doesn't flow nowadays. And there's a bloody street light down here, is there? <laughs> Never seen that before. <laughs> just, just there, <laughs> the pole with a light on it, jeez. No, no, just behind it. Just, there's two, see down here too. Little uh, street lamp type poles. Never seen them turned on. Jeez, that, that must, that must be for the race. That must be for the uh, for the boats. Yeah, fair enough. So you're not taking the left channel then, Dave? <laughs> not yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, you show me where you go in because there's two entrances. One entrance is open, but it gets shallow. The other entrance, uh, unless you've cleaned it out, it's not really open. Alright, that was Cobbler Pool. Day two tea trees now. <laughs> Alright, so where's Dave going? That's what we gotta ask. Dave tells me. You can go left just here if you wanted to, right? But this gets too shallow. Yeah nah. That's where, that's where I went last time and it's too shallow. Too shallow. And then there's the entrance further down here, but it's, it's too shallow to get into it. So you just have to go straight. That was the best entrance back behind us though. That was, that was the only other pl place to go. So, are you right? <laughs> yes, okay. You're gonna stay in this channel though, aren't you? Yeah, easy. Oh, Pat, you're making it hard for yourself. <laughs> Over that side. Got one more log, you got to duck now. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ugh. Come, 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 come! I don't know, man. <laughs> Might be easier to turn around that thing than it is go through there. <laughs> I think you want to go closer to the green. You got plenty of space if you duck well. Plenty of space, just take it really slowly. Position your boat correctly. Slowly, slowly.
Yes, sir. Yep. Yep. You're good. You got Dave coming behind, but don't worry, he'll be on your side. <laughs> you got a speeding Dave. Oh no. You can you can get under the other side there, guys. You can easily fit. Well, yeah. I'm <laughs> I'm scared of bumping my head so much. <laughs> They will always be passable because as you can't duck them, you'll be able to jump them. That last one, maybe not so much, but... <laughs> and that's where the channel pops out. If you took the left-hand side of the island, you pop out there. But it's not passable today. <laughs> not enough water. Yep, okay. Looks like a new road they've put in there, jeez. <laughs> Yeah. Not useful to us on that side though. <laughs> Alright. with me if you want to live. <laughs> Okay, so the only really hard part so far we can avoid <laughs> by taking the left channel below Jimpin in and check the video. Wherever they went left, we went right and we had that gravelly run with the blog. We don't need to go there. We can go where the other guys went left. We'll go left with them. at my dead tree decision point. Called the dead tree decision. I go left. Looking good. Yee! That's pretty open. That's where I bumped my head. Come on, Pat. Right, right side. Ha, ha, ha. 
Grab the log on your left, spin yourself round. Yep, yep, perfect, perfect. Left, 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 left. More left. <laughs> as far left as possible and pull yourself forwards now. Yep, jiggle, 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 jiggle. You'll get there, you'll get there. Just keep jiggling, keep jiggling. Get that nose around. Another, another foot, you'll get the nose around. Perfect, perfect. Dave, grab the log on your left with your left hand and spin yourself to the left. Go, go, go. Yep. Yeah. I saw you stationary there for a bit. Pull yourself left, 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 left. Yep, yep. Now you're good. Perfect. You had to get your butt around the tree. You go through if you like. You good? I know. <laughs> this is the one, isn't it? This is the channel. And it's hard, but it's the way. It's going to spit us out to the right in a moment. You want that right channel, yep. Yeah. Over here. <laughs> Yeehaw. That's definitely the channel. And here we are at the ford. <laughs> you, you sometimes pop out over there and you have to come over here. <laughs> and that's it, that's the hard part of the tea trees. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there's only one channel now, so at least there's no choices. <laughs> Difficult, yeah. It's when I have to make decisions that I don't like. <laughs> I don't mind if it's hard for everybody, but if I've made it hard for myself, I go right here through the I crash through that junk. But it's not, yeah, not the greatest. <laughs> okay, that's pretty easy nowadays. You go. Okay, I'll go. I'll go. Yeah, it makes this turn a bit of a. almost easier to do it this way. <laughs> if the nose starts to spin, well, it's, it's less energy to just let it go around. As long as you can control where you're going. Yeah, that's... And I get the good video, exactly, exactly. Waiting for you to turn over right behind me. <laughs> oh dear. Yeehaw! Like that. <laughs> I was uh, day day uh, in the tea trees of, of the High River two years ago. I was just like this with uh, a guy in a wave hopper called Peter Bleakley, a mate of ours, a uh, mining company guy. And we were just floating along like this really fast in the 2.2 meters. And I went side on and I said, oh, blah, 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 blah. Stick was coming in the river, didn't see it. Totally hit the side of my boat. And I used it as that educational moment. I said, now, now see here, Pete, that's what happens if you're not paying attention to the river. Now. Luckily, I had my brace stroke all ready, and I had this, and I did this, and I had that, and it was all, all good. Now, learn, learn from that. <laughs> Holy shit! 
<laughs> you look at the stick coming and you're thinking, oh, that's not going to be good. <laughs> I didn't see it obviously at all. <laughs> Same as the below X tracks one year, I spun around and went backwards like I do and, and helloed to the crowd. One guy in the crowd says, watch out for that stick, mate. <laughs> And I looked behind me and there was a stick, I hit the stick with the side of the boat and it just glanced along the side, like scraped along the side. Almost like, yeah, I meant to do that, yeah, yeah, I meant to do that. <laughs> That's probably the second closest they've come to turning over in the whole bloody race. <laughs> oh, and it's about here where you see the herd of goats usually, I think. It's a goat farm on the right. You can hear them bleating. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it's... Yeah, on, yeah, on this field, on the, always on the right side, isn't it? I think the right, right side's... Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. They must be in a paddock, mustn't they? All those areas are fenced, so it would be unlikely that something wild could jump into that paddock, unless they live there, of course, but... I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, Wyunga's always got the ruse. Like that, that flat area uh, downstream of the car park on the, on the northern bank, that, that Aboriginal sacred site area, always, I mean obviously it's a sacred site because they uh, probably go hunting, uh, had been hunting there for years. Um, means what? Crying place. How do you know this, by the way? <laughs> do you, uh, do you, have you, have you uh, researched it a bit? Oh really? Okay. Yeah, oh, awesome. Because I, I work in Aboriginal heritage and uh, often I don't find out the truth, the actual truth. I get told a story and then the story and then the story and it's so difficult to find. Yeah. It's a, well, it's a fishing stuff. Yeah. Okay, okay, uh, it's, a habit it's a habitation site, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, yep, 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 yep. The flat stone? Oh yes, yes, the, 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 the gravel, the, 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 the river stones, yeah, yeah. Where they had nets. Okay, okay, yep. Because I heard that they had nets in the river for fishing up there. Fish traps, yep. Yep. Yeah, okay, okay, I'd like to, yeah. On the right, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that gravel bank as you're coming in, and like, the gravel run. Yeah, yeah. We're doing super shoot, yeah? No? Okay, I like that excuse. You know there's a really nice put out just below Possils here, you can shoot straight into it. If you just shoot the rapids, shoot Possils and then hug the left bank, you'll see a bloody sandy bank in front of you that you can just run straight up. And you can jump straight out just below here. I'd never got out at Possils until this year. <laughs> Always go down to Super Shoot. <laughs> Yeah, super shoot, yeah, yeah. Oh, so I'm gonna shoot possils, is that okay? I'll just be right down below, that's what I mean. You can get out like 50 meters below, it's not a, yeah, I'll drag, I'll drag my boat back up. Uh, yeah, okay. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll be right here, yeah. <laughs> uh, I know, I stuck my paddle in a hole the first time and Realised I need some white water training. <laughs> Interesting. Switch. <laughs> also, 
missiles forward. Beep. <laughs>